Trey Collins. I got the keys, keys, keys. 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 Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. I got a bunch of stuff here. All this stuff right here came with this kit, kind of. So we'll put that in there. And the tweezers too. One thing I wanna I wanna do is I did a rekeying video where I showed you how to rekey a lock and master it. But let's say you have a house key like this one, right? And it goes to the lock. This one doesn't go to the lock. I don't know what key goes to this lock. But you want to master it to this key that will go to the lock. Because maybe you had a, a, a angry, you know, boyfriend or something who lived with you and you want to change the lock. And you don't really want to buy another lock or pay a locksmith. Well, you could do it yourself, but you have to buy some kind of rekeying kit. Something like this. Like, like a lab kit. This is the lab kit here. And it has all the mastering pins in it, the top pins. We got scroll pins for anti pick. Um, and we have bottom pins. Well, one of the easiest things to do is to rekey a lock. Um, so, assuming that you can open your door and get inside and take out the lock or the deadbolt like this, then you can gain access to it. And this is what I like to call stripping the lock. Now, what I would do, and just to save time, actually I'll just go ahead and do it again, okay? I'm going to take off the top, right off the start. You don't have to do this in every case. Uh, sometimes you can do it a different way, but this is the way I would recommend it because you don't know if that's got scroll locks inside of here. Um, any kind of master pins or something that could be pushed up in there. So, just strip the lock down. It's what I call it. So what I do is I take my tweezers here. Eh, they're helpful. They're not needed, but they're helpful. And we're going to take all the springs out. Just like that. Just like that. Then, dump your pins out. Okay? They might go flying or something, but it'll have some pins in there. This tool is very handy. You don't really need it, but if you can find a better way of getting these snap rings off, I'd love to hear it. Because this tool is made especially for that. Okay, hold on. I should have probably done this before I took out the pins because it's trying to turn on me now. But And you just kind of pry try that snap ring off now we have snap ring and a tongue and the cylinder falls right out the bottom okay if you have a repinning uh, pinning kit like this I ignore these pins they're junk to me I don't even want them in the lock I want to make sure I have what I want in the lock so the first thing I do is I put plug follower in there and this thing has gaps in it, so if you come out this way, this pins will shoot down through the gaps, and then you don't have to start all back over again. So make sure this is like that, like flush, okay? So when you pull this out, whatever, it doesn't have any gaps to it, okay? All right, first thing you want to do is put in your top pins, and you can see here, it says top pins, and they're right here. There's some different style top top pins. We don't. Uh, you could use those if you want, but then I think you have to change your uh, your pin configuration on other things. So, um, you're just gonna drop these in one by one each each hole it doesn't really matter what you do go back over here you can grab your springs or if your kit comes with springs mine has a bunch of springs but these are easier to pick up because they're not all jumbled so we'll just be using the same springs that were in there 
no big deal there and we'll put those springs right inside just like that so we just reset the whole thing the reason why you want to do this and I cannot stress this enough um, is because you don't know if there are scroll pins in there or different lengths of pins that somebody has rekeyed this to so strip your lock all the way down to the just this and this you know start all back over it's the best way to do it but this is not how to master a key this is how to rekey a key so let's say you have this key excuse me right and you want this key to work, but you don't want your other key to work. These are the same key, but I'm just using this as reference. This is your house key that your boyfriend, your angry grandfather has, what or not, uh, somebody who's threatening to kill, whatever. Whatever the case may be, maybe your landlord. And you have new tenants, you want the keys changed. So we get rid of that key, and we get this key, right? So we need to measure this key to know what pins we need. And that comes in the measuring gauge here. It says quick set and it says slate. Schlig. What you're gonna do is just run this down till it stops. So that's a five, a five, a one, five, five, one, three. And you're going to just write that down. 5513 and 6. Those are our pen numbers. So you simply take the cylinder part of it and you put 55136. Five, and these are labeled right here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need two fives. So we'll just use the tweezers here. So these are my fives right here. So five. Oh, and by the way, start from the left to the right. That's where, how we're going. That's how we measure the key. From the tip of the key down to the, the shank of the key. So five, five. Uh, what was it? One, one is down here. Little bitty boogers. Oops, I don't know what. One, come on. Sometimes these tweezers don't like the smaller pins. There we go. One. This is three. And a six. Big old long pin right there. Look at this sucker. There you go. Now, if you want to go ahead and test this, this is fine. If you're mastering a key, you don't do this. Because you're going to have two sets of pins on top of each other. But see how they're level? They're totally level. When you stick in the key. <laughs> Oops. It looks like I need another five because that, that one just took off. Sorry about that beeping. That's uh somebody messing around with the their little buttons. You give a kid a button, they're gonna they're gonna push it. That's what they do all the time. Damn, gum it, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry guys. Damn. I didn't expect all that. Somebody's pulling and resetting, pulling and resetting. So anyway, once you have this, don't just shove it in there this way because the first pin will fall into these grooves and you won't be able to push it any further. So what you want to do is turn it sideways like this. And then when you get right about here, go real quick and just let that plug fall or shoot out the back. All right. You're done with all that. You can put up all your tools. You can clear out your boogie board by pressing the button. And then you put your tongue back on. Put your snap ring. The little slot that lines up with the slot. Can't get that wrong. There you go. Make sure you put all your other stuff away here. This. Got my tweezers. These keys will go back in the cabinet. But does it work? It does work like smooth as butter. So that is how you rekey a lock. Not master a lock, but rekey it. Just rekeying one key goes to that lock. 
or any copies that you make that go sell a lot. So, guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man, that's how you rekey a lock. Just standard rekey, no master. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Major key alert. Oh, we good now. Oh, we good now. Major bag alert. DJ Khaled. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys.